Anachronism, 3,256, posted June the 1st, my sister's birthday, of uh, 2021, um, is sub subtitled uh, Uncle Dr. Randall Weaver, really a person who was in, uh, in my family, uh, great, great, great uncle, I believe. I didn't know him. Uh, just from a photograph or two that I have of him as I've been going through some of my grandmother's old photographs and, uh, you know, working with my mother to figure out who people are and stuff, uh, I came up with this. Always dapper, but almost always pictured seated, which dapper and seated, always an elegant combination, or at least one that worked well for the good doctor. In this particular photograph, his leg is crossed gingerly across his right, lady style, one might say, or upper echelon style, or just comfortable in his lanky elder man body style. His circular specs have circular attached shades that add a further layer to the sexiness of, a sept of this septuagenarian man about town with an eggplant-shaped face that sits not quite but just above his bow tie, which seems a quickly slashed felt marker line, or perhaps half a centimeter here, and is precisely parallel to the high waistline of his long khakis, which in turn run parallel with the wooden back slats of the porch swing upon which he sits, or more accurately, he's pictured here sitting on a porch swing. A front porch swing, much like what I used to swing upon at my grandmother's. He was her uncle as well, back when I was a child. But would that I knew such grace in this body of mine. The dapper doctor's long and lanky, just like the rest of him, left arm sits along the top of the swing to his left. Its elbow rests just over the top of the other side. Follow the arm further and you can see its four long fingers crooked right in front of his left suspender like a hand fan pointing legward, but only his thumb is at the suspender, unseen, but apparently holding it in its crook, just away from his white pressed Oxford, as if to allow his heart a bit more liberty to do its rhythmic thing. The siphoning swell, the quick contracting whoosh, the tick, the jerk of it makes, and that can be felt these are mechanics with which he'd be well acquainted and intimately being thus far the singular medical practitioner in these parts for the entirety of his adulthood. I imagine him letting out the subtlest of exhalations, his version of a sigh and proclaiming to everyone and no one at all. It's a right pretty day, I reckon. And who'd refute Uncle Dr. Randall Weaver? who was always on the verge of saying, I do declare. And any soul who'd hear his declaration would be hard pressed to disagree. Any passers by, and there were always at least a few, would, upon getting near enough to see Dr. Weaver sitting on, a, sitting on his porch swing, and greet him with an evening, Doc Weaver. To which our distinguished gentleman, my great, great, great uncle, would respond by lifting his long fingers from his suspender, gently taking the tip of his fedora between his thumb and forefinger for a split second, then relax his arm back down upon the swing and drop his fingers back to his elastics, where they'd remain until the next pedestrian's earnest greeting. That's all for today. Thanks.